So what is it like for young people living with the fear of knife crime when they go out? And how strong is the influence of gangs in our region? Well, on Merseyside, there were more than a 1,000 incidents involving knives last year. And in Liverpool, former gang members are trying to take the next generation in a different direction. But could more police also help? Kevin Fitzpatrick reports. With a trick or two along the way, these former gang members are using bikes to steer themselves away from trouble. It's given me courage to go out and ride, because I know there's people out there riding and doing the same things me, wanting to stand up against the knife crime, because there's a lot of knife crime in Liverpool. So for me, it's, it's an escape. They're part of a much larger group, the Liver Peddler Pool, a project to educate teenagers about the consequences of carrying knives. It was set up by this 21-year-old. A lot of the knife crime stems from the gang culture, and um, I think the gang culture is a big, a big part of, of a lot of the stabbings and violence. Also 21, Jack says for him, the threat of knife crime was ever-present through his teens. It's never been in the background, it's been an upfront thing where it happens a lot. So you, everyone does experience it. When you, you're in that kind of area where you, you feel you need a knife, are you, are you scared for your life? Are you worried that you might end up using it? Or do you, you just think it's part of the way you go about things? It, at the points that I did, I, I did carry the knife and I got convicted for it, there was a 50% chance of I was scared to use it but the other 50% chance I was scared that that was, would be used on me as well. The group now regularly organises large bike rides to help young people make new friends and discourage them from joining street gangs, but it can be a challenge. It's an easy life to get roped into because it appeals to them, making money appeals to them, having a, a reputation appeals to them. There's a lot of glamorisation of, of the gang culture on social media and, and a lot of arguments do stem on sort of stem from social media and it's just a message messages getting sent to each other and then they feel like they've got to they've got to live up to what they've said they're going to do would more police on the streets help at the end of the day i do not believe the police can arrest their way out of this problem I, I believe police on the streets for public reassurance is a good thing but i think it needs to be tackled at the root source which is obviously before these crimes take place kevin fitzpatrick bbc northwest tonight liverpool